Hey guys, BT Delta Fan 101, and uh, this is my uh, gear bag video. So here we go. So I have a standard carrying bag for luggage and stuff. Well, not necessarily luggage, but anything really. And I use it for paintball. I don't really have a fancy bag. So when you open the main pocket, we have a uh, Exalt uh, tank cover. It's camo, so I don't use it too much. I'm more of a speedballer now. Uh, paint grenade. I found that randomly in my closet. I have some uh, extra paint. This is from Winter. Uh, it's RPS Polar Ice. Still got it. Uh, it's pretty decent paint. I uh, have my uh, Eclipse 2011 Overload pads. Uh, they're nice pads. I've used them a couple times now. Uh, I got my Planet Eclipse 2011 Overload knee pads. Uh, they're very comfortable. They got great padding. Uh, stretchy, bendable. Hurts the knee a little bit at the start, but I've worked them in now so it doesn't tight. Like, it's not too tight against my knee. Uh, I've got a pair of sunglasses for when it's really bright at the field. I've got my NXC Elevation Pod Pack, I believe it is. Uh, it's limited edition with the skulls on it. You won't find any like that around. They're very nice. It's got the big NXC thing here. I actually kind of don't like the that big uh, rubbery things here because it gets caught in the grass so it doesn't slide as well. I might try to somehow get rid of that. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll try to fix it. Next up, we got a uh, barrel swab for any broken paint you have. You can carry that with you on the field and you'll be good to go when you break a ball, if you break a ball. Next up I have the uh, chronograph. This is my own handheld chronograph that I just test around with. Uh, works well, it's accurate, it was only 80 bucks. Uh, it's easy to use. So next up I got the uh, custom products uh, tank cover with the Pure Energy 7045 tank. Uh, it's a Actually, really lightweight for its size. Works well with the Geo 2 I have, which I'll show you next. Geo 2, it's got the case. It's got a lot of dents in it, but it's in good condition inside at least. Uh, I'll take that all out. Got the manual, got everything with it. Some Allen keys. So there's the Geo 2. You guys have seen it in a few of my videos now. Shaft 4 barrel on it. The Shiner Geo 2. It's a very nice gun. Very lightweight, sleek design. It's beautiful. Nice spool valve gun. Okay, so uh, in the side pockets, what we have here is some barrel socks for. When you get on the field, I have some ones I can lend out to people. Broken barrel swab, still works though. Works fine. Barrel squeegee, goes through your barrel also obviously. And a microfiber cloth for when you get those mask shots and they're really annoying to clean up. Next slide, I have toque for when, uh, for bouncing off the head, like when a paintball hits you. Got some gloves. Don't usually wear them now, but uh, I used to, and I cut the cut them off a little bit. Got my die rotor with Exalt Speed Feed. Works. Doesn't have very many scratches on it. Actually, has very little scratches on it. Um, so that's all I have in the gear bag. Now, uh, some stuff I couldn't fit in the gear bag is my mask. It's my new Proto Pro Axes mask. Enigma color. Also have a backup JT mask. JT makes decent products. Um, have my 2011 jersey. It's the Traumatic colored. It's a pretty nice jersey. Got nice padding, venting, mesh, all that stuff, so that it keeps you cool. Uh, 2010 pants. They're the Redemption version. Uh, they used to be 129 bucks. Got these for 70 used. Only used a couple times. And. Uh, Last in my gear bag, or gear that I bring with me on the field, is my parts kit, which houses in spine feed. This is my secondary loading system in case my exalt broke or something. Goggle cleaner, knife for whatever. Batteries inside here, some on the outside too, along there. Have tools galore, allen keys, wrenches, uh, knives, o-ring stuff, screws, pretty much anything you need, lube. 
and uh, have a lighter for lighting smoke grenades when I have them. And that's pretty much it. That's all I bring on the field with me, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.